Today, we will be discussing the mystery of super juice and spray supplements. So hold on one minute. Ah, the spooky subject of super juice and spray supplements. Yes, that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> if this crow will ever leave, that's what we're going to talk about. God, he's just crazy. Anyways, so let's talk about um, spray supplements. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. I think you'll learn from this video. I think you'll learn a lot from this video if you'll take the time to watch it. If you don't take the time to watch it, you won't learn. I'll tell you that right now, because here's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna talk about spray supplements, their role, how they perform, and what they do. Then, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put up an interview with um, John Pope, who is probably one of the most knowledgeable guys in the United States when it comes to certain things, especially like the humic uh, industry. A 40-year agronomist, Penn State grad, multiple uh, extension offices consulting all around the world, 20 years with the fertilizer industry. And what I like best about him is he's a no BS kind of guy. If he doesn't believe in something or if he says something's wrong, he's going to tell you. He's kind of been the black sheep of the industry for a while. <laughs> and we kind of laugh about that because he just tells you the way it is. If he doesn't think something's right, he's going to tell you. And that's what I love about him. I love talking to him. So I'm going to take a clip from an interview where we talk about spray supplements and their function and their roles. Watch that. You'll learn from it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to spray back here. Now, if you haven't, this is chapter three where I basically scalp my backyard. I put down PGF. I've been watering it in to get poundage of nutrients into the soil to get some kind of reaction. I'm now starting to see a little bit of green come up. And so now what I can do is I can come back with a super juice treatment and do and make sure that my entire, every single sprig of my lawn and make sure that all, every single little piece of grass is getting a little touch of nutrients. And that's what I'm going to do with the super juice. So it's phase one, let's talk about super juice. I want you to create your own spray supplement. So if you had to come up with something, what would you put in it? And that's basically what I did over probably about a three year period. My background is golf course and I'm used to spray supplements. So I said, well, let's, I started mixing my own uh, nutrients and chemicals and everything together. What would you put in there? Well, you'd put in the main macros, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and you put it in there in a seven to one, a four, four, one, two, some kind of ratio like that. The next thing that you would want in there, I would guess, would be micronutrients. If your lawn needs micronutrients, let's put micronutrients in there. What about humic acid? Sure, let's put some humic acid in there, why not? Sea kelp, sea kelp is very beneficial to lawns. Let's put sea kelp in there. Would you want some iron? Yes, I would want some iron in there. So if that's everything that you want in a, spray, in a spray supplement, not a fertilizer, in a spray supplement, that's basically what I said. And so what I did was, is I went to Anderson's and I said, look, you guys have got all this in dry form. Why can't we put it all together, put it in a dry mix that you just mix with water and spray in your lawn and now you have a supplement that's all in one. That's what it is. There's no secret magic formula to this. It's just all those nutrients, all those, all those chemicals, all those nutrients, all in a dry formula. You mix it and you spray it. That's what it is. Now let's talk about how supplements work. In the interview later, you're going to hear my favorite question to John. And that question is I ask him, I say, okay, John, um, I have a crappy lawn and I come out and spray super juice or, or do a spray supplement on my lawn. A week later, I come back. What am I going to have? He said, you're going to have a crappy lawn. <laughs> and that's the absolute truth. Why is that? It's because if you have a weak, crappy lawn, it's because your soil is weak and crappy. If you're, there aren't nutrients in your soil or if something is wrong with your soil, you're not going to have a nice lawn. So the number one job of a lawn care turf manager is to fix and correct the soil. Make sure there's plenty of nutrients in it. Make sure the pH is right. Make sure the balance is right. That's your number one job. And if you'll do that one step, you'll have a beautiful lawn. We do most of that with granular because we want to put down poundage. In other words, we may want anywhere from one pound to three pounds of nitrogen per growing season on a lawn. 
but you really can't do that with a spray. If you do it with a spray, like the comp spray companies do, you really run the risk of burning, of burning your lawn, especially in the summertime. So that's why supplements are very, very mild. If you watch a tournament on TV, a golf tournament on TV, I can just about guarantee you that all those fairways and all those greens at some point within two to three weeks prior to that tournament have had a spray supplement applied to them. I'm just telling you, whether it's a micro, whether it's iron, some kind of spray supplement. So the job of a spray supplement is to, you put out a granular fertilizer, and let's say that granular is going to feed for six to eight weeks. Well, in between there, you may have some dry periods, you may have some in-between periods where you just want a supplement. You may have some high traffic areas. You may have some stress conditions. That's where a supplement comes in. That's where Super Juice is used. Again, Super Juice is not a primary fertilizer. Can you use it as a primary if your everything in your soil is right? Yes, you could, which I proved this year. This year, what we did on my lawn is we did a soil correction just with 10-10-10 early spring and then for three months I applied nothing but super juice and my lawn was absolutely gorgeous. Of course then we came out with PGF complete so we wanted to do all the PGF complete testing so I've, we've been dumping down PGF complete and we shut off the super juice but let me tell you a real good time give you a perfect example where something spray supplements are a good time to use it. So we're coming into the fall and we don't want to put out a real long-term fertilizer. So let's say, let's just pretend that in six weeks I've got a frost coming in. So do I want to put down a fertilizer that's going to feed for eight to ten weeks? No, that's not what I want to do. I should be putting it down earlier than that. And then in the fall what I can do is I can just go around with a spray supplement. It's you're putting down a tiny, tiny bit of nutrients. That's all you're doing. You're not pushing your lawn. It's a very, very tiny amount of nutrients that you're spraying on your lawn, um, and it's not going to really affect your soil too much. It's just a very small amount, and you can do that every two weeks in the fall without the risk of having a huge nitrogen push or a huge amount of nutrients going into your soil and being concerned about that. So. Um, <clears throat> We sort of push it in the spring. In the spring we put down granulars and we put down super juice. Summer you can spray super juice in, but in the fall, fall is a great time to spray your super juice because at some point you're gonna to wanna to shut off your granulars, but you still wanna be doing some kind of supplemental nutrition program that isn't, that isn't gonna last months. A super juice treatment will last you about a week or two and then you can go out and put more. That's the premise of a supplement small little incremental feedings. It's just very, very minor. So what uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about Super Juice is, like I said, originally we were mixing up our own formulas. We, I had you guys going out and buying different ingredients, just ba basically buying the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the 712, buying this, the humic, buying the sea kelp, buying all those individual components and mixing it yourself. Then I went out to Anderson's and said, can you just put this all in one bag? That's all it is. So it's just a bunch of nutrients put into a bag, you mix it with water and spray it. There's no magic to it. But you have to understand how a spray supplement works. A lot of people just don't understand that. They don't understand the difference between um, a poundage granular program and a spray supplement program. So uh, today I'm gonna mix up a batch of super juice. I'm gonna spray it here. I'm actually waiting, true story. Got my phone in my pocket because I'm waiting for a phone call from the freight company because the new real mower is supposed to show up today. Um, I might put it on this video or I'll probably wait for the next video to put it on, but I got the McLean showing up today on the truck company. So I want to get out here. I want to spray the super juice on the lawn. Um, like I said, the next thing up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that interview up with John. It's a really good, fun interview to listen to. And then I'll put up uh, me applying the super juice a little bit later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you, John's on with me now, and we're going to talk about spray supplements. So let me tell you my background, where I came from. So golf course and, and nursery sort of business is where my background is. I came forward, and I know for a fact that I wanted a spray supplement to work in between my granular treatments. So I started playing with all kinds of things. Now, if you know me or watch any of my videos, I had home recipes that I was working on with liquid lawn products, mixing up my own. Last year, I went to Anderson's and I said, why can't you put all these ingredients in a package for me that is easy to work? So what I did was I said, okay, Anderson's, I want you to put 
um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. They're simple ingredients, three macros. I want you to put a bunch of micros in there. I want you to put humic acid, and I want you to put sea kelp inside of it, and I want you to put a little bit of iron. Just put all that stuff in a form where it's a dry mix that people can mix it up. So there's no magic to this. It's just a simple list of formulas. It's just a simple product mix. That's all it's in there. There's nothing special or secret inside there. So the way that I use SuperJuice is um, I use SuperJuice. Spray supplements have been used for a long time as a little mild supplement. So in other words, you can go out on a weekly or biweekly or every two or three weeks and spray it out. So John is going to tell us now. Here's a question for you, John. Um, I have a crap, let's say I have a crappy lawn and I go out and I spray super juice and I come back a week later. What am I going to have? You're going to have a crappy lawn. <laughs> uh, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing, the thing about this is, that, uh, you know, plant doesn't eat or take up nutrients through the leaf. Right. Okay. It takes those major nutrients up through its root system from the soil. So you need to have a healthy soil or at least be working towards a healthy soil with adequate nutrients really to improve your lawn. I, if there, there's a take home message here, that's my take home message for today, okay? And, uh, the, the, uh, and I have watched professionals do all sorts of things as, and homeowners and over my career, just, you know, all the facets I've been involved in. And until you get to this balanced approach, and it takes people quite a while to understand this uh, when they first start into this business, um, you know, you're really not going to prosper. That's, you know, whether you want to have the best lawn in the neighborhood or, you know, your, your income depends on it. So when you talk about spoon feeding, foliar feeding, those kinds of things, uh, there's a lot of people that grow grass with those things, okay? However, they have a myriad of problem and big budgets. Right. And so um, the if you're just, uh, you know, trying to do your best with uh, what you have <coughs> and uh, basically uh, grow grass, a balanced approach is uh, really my suggestion. Well, and I supplements did. are part of that. And, and that's kind of where I want people to understand is that the, the foliar uptake is very minimal. So if I spray super juice on a plant, uh, the foliar uptake is a very small window. The, the liquid has to be wet for that foliar uptake to happen, number one. Right. So as soon as it dries, it stops. And that's why I tell people, if you're going to spray it on the lawn, spray it on the lawn and feel free to water it in because the majority of the uptake is actually going to be through the root system. A very small amount happens foliarly, not a whole lot. So, and then the other thing is that it's washed off in a rain or by irrigation or whatever is just enough to uh, very short-term stimulation of the plant. Right. And where it's used and where we use it is, I'll give you an example. I go out and I put out a fertilizer that lasts for eight weeks, let's say. So I go out and I dump down a fertilizer the last eight weeks. Well, about three or four weeks from now, guess what? I see that my lawn's looking a little bit weak or I had to cut it real hard and bring it down. And I can't put anything on it. <laughs> or you had heavy use or whatever. Or heavy okay. use, exactly. Um, and that's where... Going out with a product like Super Juice and doing that really mild supplement spray in between those base feedings and base corrections, that's where I've seen excellent, fantastic results. It doesn't, it's not an overnight product. It's not something you're going to spray in your lawn and go, oh, come out a few days later and say, man, I have this gorgeous lawn now. That's all done through the granular system. That's all done through the soil correction. That's all done through product like a PGF Complete. The supplement is what we use in those incremental feedings in between there, correct? Uh, well, yes, but this is where I think, uh, I, I the way I look at it, it uh, supplements are definitely there to keep the plant, uh, I'll use a, a technical term, physiology, physiology responses, okay, the physiological response going during times of stress. That's why you get you get that after a heavy use, you get a response out of it. You know, basically what you're trying to do, and that's what is happening with uh, super juice. You've got 
the micronutrients in there and uh, the sea the sea kelp in there and they help the plant continue to grow under stress whether it be heat use whatever and bounce back from those things and there's a lot of reasons i could roll my eyes up in my head and start off on them but i won't and the um, so the other the other thing is you just want that outstanding look to the lawn where PGF provides the color, that you continue that color with your, uh, you know, every two week or whatever spraying to get that outstanding look. So that, that's the way I look at these <coughs> these pro these products. Okay, now there, you know, people argue about hydroponics and this, that, and the other thing, but that's just in my mind another form of spoon pe spoon feeding. Right. Yeah, I and one of the things I do, especially in the summertime. If you, you got to be careful with your iron, but I always add, not always, if I haven't had, if I haven't put down PGF within about three or four weeks, I add a little bit of extra iron to my spray, which a lot of people do. They add a little bit of uh, liquid iron and you just get that nice dark green color. You get that pop up back too, but you got to be careful because PGF complete has a lot of iron in it. Yes, it, it does. 3%, I believe. Yeah, at least 3%. Right. And and so you, you don't want to, you don't want to, what'll happen is if you over iron, you start to get that gray steel look. <laughs> so one fun fact, that iron response is really because it's translocated down into the root system and it, ha it, it is actually helping a chemical process within the plant to help those roots take nutrients out of that soil as long as there's some soil moisture. And that, that's why you're getting that response. Out of, out of that it's kind of a kind of a you know people think it's just the tissue itself and the plant uh, changing color you know uh, uh, it's not that it's changing that physiological response and that's why these um, spoon feeding uh, uh, type of supplements are so uh, effective with iron and especially I mean they use them a lot on golf courses I think oh yeah the... Yeah, British show. Anytime you're going to see a golf course on TV, I guarantee you that's been sprayed with a supplement. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. And there's all sorts of uh, of uh, mixes and and uh, potions out there that uh, work. But the, the the products in Super Juice have a scientific backing to them uh, from the standpoint of their minor elements and the combination of uh, sea sea plant extract and humic. So, uh, and all, all been documented and can be cited. The, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I'm trying to think what else, uh, is there any other time you're John's John's the guy that can pronounce all the big words, by the way, I can't do that. So <laughs> well, I'll try to keep the big words to a minimum because <laughs> I don't know if I have the brain power to, uh, you know, chew and walk, chew gum and walk. So <laughs> I'm the guy that talks and writes at the seventh grade level. So um, is there any other time where you can see a benefit to super juice other than what I'm saying? Because basically what I do is I put down a granular product and I know the granulars down there. You always you, you fix your soil. That's that's what granulars do. Is there any other time that. Super juice would be helpful that I'm not thinking about. Again, I just use it as a regular basis, just to sort of, I, I know every time I spray, I'm putting down a little tiny amount of all the macros, all the micros, the sea kelp and the humic. And the other thing you said, is, is there any other time or place? I can't think of any. I'm just wondering if you would. You know, on, on the top of my head, no. I've seen folks uh, use it at, emergence after a new seeding on cool season um, because they're not getting the response that they wanted that they skip the step usually you know pH adjustment or whatever usually those they're the kind of things where your pH adjustment hasn't been working and you seeded a new area and two weeks after emergence you come back and you hit the, hit the turf to get it to start uh, reacting properly but again that's a stress situation so stress situations are probably the uh, key areas now one thing i like to do is i'll give you an example if i'm doing a spray treatment for 
either bugs or for uh, fungus, I like to mix it in with my super juice and spray it at the same time. As well, long that's as one you... of the reasons. That's one of the reasons you would you would use a liquid. Okay, is that you can uh, piggyback applications. The other so... thing, I you know what I haven't tested and I probably need to test. I need to test if it acts like any kind of surfactant as well, too. And I would imagine it might, based on either the humic or the sea kelp. I'm not sure. Well, uh, the humic itself, okay, uh, has some uh, surfactant-type properties. And the potassium humate in particular, I don't know if there's enough of it to provide that... um, that property i think in the pgf over time there's definitely uh ability to take out localized dry spots with using pgf complete and humic dg i'll just have to i'll have to play with that all right so anyways um so Anyways, that's enough talk on the super juice. But by the way, I just wanted people to understand that the whole purpose of super juice is not to fix your lawn. Right. The purpose of super juice, if you want to fix your lawn, you got to fix your soil. I say that over and over and over again. Fix your soil, fix your soil, fix your soil. And that's done through measured poundages. So I want to put down, if you go to get a soil test, you're going to get it back and the extension office is going to come back to you and say, you need to put one pound per thousand square feet of X, X, and X. It's kind of hard to do that with a spray supplement put down poundage. Uh, matter of fact, it scares the living hell out of me every time I see a, a one of these national fertilizer trucks run around here spraying poundages. I'm like, oh my god, her lawn is gonna fry. <laughs> yeah, I just I know what's coming because they're spraying, uh, uh, you know, a, a thirty zero five down, and it's ninety six degrees, and we haven't had rain in two weeks. And I go, oh, here we go. Well, there's uh, you know, there's a right way to do it, and there's a wrong way to do it, and you know, the basically the measured way is uh, the way that I like anyway. So, all right, well, we're going to end the snake oil conversation there, and we're going to go on to the next subject. All right, so I've got about two gallons of hot water here. I just like to use hot tap water. I've got about twelve thousand square feet, and I'm going to put about eight cups of super juice into this. Now this is probably too much water, but it doesn't matter because what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down my spray rate and I'm going to really slow down and make sure that I'm spraying the lawn real heavy. So the amount of super juice is not going to change. I'm just going to slow down my walk rate so I need more water. A lot of people get confused on that. So, By the way, one little side note. These little um, Ziplocs on all these bags, they never hold, so make sure you tape your bag closed, otherwise it's not going to ruin it. The Super Juice will get a little bit clumpy. It's still fine. It mixes up, but uh, if you want to keep it this pretty little, pretty little color here, <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like there in a second. Number two. Probably a good time to answer a couple questions for you guys. Uh, question number one is how long can I pre-mix this and keep it? Yes, you can pre-mix the super juice and store it for about a week or two. That's no problem. The only thing is, is the air around you has mold spores. Those mold spores are going to come in contact with this and you'll probably get a thin layer of mold. Um, like if you put a cover on this and come back, just skim the mold off and it's ready to go. It's not the mold in the super juice, it's the mold in your air, the mold spores. There's 50,000 mold spores in every cubic yard of air that you're breathing. (laughs) Um, Spray bottles, uh, Anderson's should have some new spray bottles up within the next couple of weeks. They've been working on that for a while. Uh, The new green spray bottles. And uh, I think that's about it. So if you want to know what it looks like after it's mixed, Basically, here's what it looks like when it's mixed. See that? It's kind of a brown, sort of silky look to it. Again, it completely reminds me of going to the beach. (laughs) On the way to the beach, smelling those marshes. Very, very mild. Hey guys, so let me explain what I'm doing. Um, I made up close to two gallons of mix. 
so that I could really slow down and really take my time. So there's no dye. I'm just using straight super juice. There's nothing else in it. There's no dye. There's no iron. There's nothing. Um, I'm going to go at a pretty slow rate. Now, one of the reasons why I don't have to use dye is we've got some new spray heads that Anderson uh, bought for us. And they're going to be listing on Amazon soon, and it's a 20 to 1 spray ratio. And if you screen it, you have no issues with uh, sprayer clogs or anything. So this is the only 20 to, 20 to 1 head I have. So I have other bottles over there with different heads on it that I'm just going to use this sprayer head. And that's a little tip. If you have a sprayer head that you really like, just use that sprayer head and just change it out on the bottles. So... Again, I've been pushing PGF Complete into this lawn, and I have very little green. So foliar uptake is going to be very minimal. But what I can do is I can now get sea kelp, humic, um, micros, and all the regular nutrients broadly applied. Even though PGF Complete has probably the smallest granule or prill size on the market, and you get more particles per square inch than just about any other fertilizer, um, still, I want, to, I want every single blade of grass to have a little bit of nutrient. That's where the super juice comes in. So I've put down heavy PGF complete, but I want to make sure that every single blade of grass is getting nutrients. And that's the hard thing about granulars. Even though PGF is great, a lot real good coverage, it's still a granular. So I'm going to hook it up and uh, just start spraying. That's all I'm going to do. That's all done. That's all sprayed. Um, again, no dye. I don't need any dye out here because I'm using that spray new spray bottle. Um, and the whole yard has it. Comprehend, comprehend where I am in this thought process though. The thought process being, I don't have a lot of foliage for any kind of foliar absorption. Now, foliar absorption is very is very small and it happens like John John is saying John was saying it happens a very quick period it's very short while the fluids are wet and so after that period you actually wet it in now there's a university research that did uh, there's a university that did a study on foliar feedings and foliar sprays and the best results that they actually had with um, a product just like super juice was to apply it leave it on there for about six to eight, six hours, and then water it into the root system. And that's where they have their best results. So you spray it on, you get a small foliar uptake of some nutrients, uh, and then you, you water it in and it goes right into the upper level root system. That's important. So Linda's out here with me, by the way. Whew. So I just sprayed it. I'm going to leave it on here for about three hours or so, and then I'm going to come out and, and run my sprinkler system again. But let me show you what I'm dealing with. What's going on here? So this is what I've got here. I'm starting to get a little bit of a sprout here. Get a little bit of a green. Kind of reminds you of early spring, doesn't it? But that's what I'm dealing with. All right, so that's all done. <laughs> so here's a pop quiz for you. Crow's back. <laughs> uh, let's say we're into October, and you've gotten all your fertilizer down last of the month before, but you have a warm front move in. 
what's a good thing to do at that point? Well, you can't put down more fertilizer, granular, because that's going to last you six to eight weeks. So you come out and spray super juice. You got that? So that's a good little thing to do is, especially in the fall, when you have, let's say you have four or five days move in and you got temperatures back up in the 80s, maybe even touching 90s, spray some super juice. It's going to last out here for a week or two, but you're not going to load up your lawn with lots of nitrogen and that energy that you don't want to do late in the fall. So that's where we really, in the fall, that's where I really like the super juice. Um, you're going to put down, there's going to come a point where you're going to cut off your granulars, but you're still going to have, I mean, here we are, we're almost October 1st, and it's going to be 93 degrees today. Let me say it again. I'm in Georgia. It's coming up on the 1st of October, and we've got temperatures into October next week that are going to be into the 90s, 93, 94. Great Bermuda grown weather, but I don't want to put down a granular. I want to have that, this is where the supplement comes in. It's perfect for Okay. It. Another example, let's go out to the front. Um, two weeks ago, I put down my last treatment of PGF Complete on my front lawn. We've been stacking it out here, and my lawn is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be hard to see in the sunlight, but it's super, super thick. <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm almost having to cut this lawn about every 48 hours if I wanna keep it short. But here's the thing. We're gonna have warm temperatures out here for weeks to come and I don't want to put out any more granular. So what do I do? What's the smart thing to do here? The smart thing to do here is to switch over to Super Juice. That's what I'm going to be doing now. So no more PGF complete on my lawn. It's all been stacked up. If the soil's juiced up, we'll call it. Um, it's full of nutrients. So the only thing I need to do from here on out, as long as I have nice weather, is come out probably every other week, hit it with a light coat of Super Juice, and uh, I'll be all done. That's the way I'm running it for now. So anyways, guys, click the subscribe button. Hope this video helped. Hope you learned something. Talk to you later. Doc.